I've already mentioned uh, a couple of times the span of a set of vectors, but now I will officially define it. So consider vectors v1, v2, and vk in Rn. So we take k vectors in the n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn. Then the set of all linear combinations of these vectors. So all vectors that can be written as c times v1 plus c2 times v2, etc., etc., until ck times vk. This is called the span of these vectors v1 to vk. So this is called the span of V1 until Vk. Well, for example, for example, We've seen that any vector in the R2 can be written as linear combination of um, E1 and E2, the vectors 0, 1 and uh, 1, 0. So actually the span of these two vectors is the complete R2. So any, combi any vector in the R2 can be written as combination, linear combination of E1 and E2. The span of the vectors 1, 3 and 2, 6, well, since 2, 6 is a multiple of the vector 1, 3, we can make all linear combinations by only 1, 3. So basically, the span of these two vectors is a span of 1, 3, or multiples of the vector 1, 3. Well, we have the following theorem that the image of T, the image of a linear transformation Tx is A times X. So instead of writing the image of T, we may also write the image of A. So the image of a linear transformation Tx is A times X. Well, this equals the span of the column vectors of A. So basically, basically this says that the image of a matrix A is determined by the linear combinations that I can make with the columns of A. Well, the proof is easy. Well, write, write down A in column form. So we have columns V1 till Vn. Yeah, N columns. Then T of X is A times X. we can write, so what do we get, is x1 times the first column, plus x2 times the second column, plus 3 times the third column, plus etc., plus xn times the nth column, vn. So the image is included in the span of the vectors v1 to Vn. And, and vice versa, we can easily see that the span of these columns belongs to the image of the matrix A. Since each uh, column Vi is the image of uh, Ti, Tei, 
TEI is mapped on VI.